Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today, I'm going to show you the 2020 RPOD 180. Now this is their anniversary edition. I just love this trailer for two people. It's spacious, it's got everything that you need. This trailer is 20 feet long. It weighs about 3,000 pounds with the options that I'm going to show you. And you can expect to pay somewhere around 18,000 for this trailer, of course, depending on the options and where you're located. All right, well, let's go take a look inside. You're gonna love this one. Right off the bat, when I walk in this R-Pod, I notice that it's different than most of them because the bathroom is in the rear. That's what gives you this open space in the middle. So let's start right in the entrance. There is a wardrobe right here. Of course, you get shelves that can move and a bar at the top. Underneath, two drawers. They're about three to four inches deep. Nice size drawers for food, storage, clothing, whatever you need. The bathroom is right here in front of you. Let's take a look. The storage in this bathroom is really amazing for such a small compact camper. You've got a nice size countertop and I like it when I can put things on the counter. Gives me a little countertop space. The mirror is mounted on the wall. Now you do have this curve on the left side to deal with. So if you're taller, and of course I'm right around five foot, you may need to stand to the side just a little bit, but um, for a lot of us, it's not gonna be much of a problem. Underneath, the storage is really nice under here. I like the width of the cabinet because you've got two levels of storage under it. And then let's see if we can get a shot behind the toilet on this side. Now you've got a compartment here that's nice and open with a net on it, so you can see what's in there. Closed cabinet underneath. And then to the left on the wall, nice pockets. Again, a little bit of a curve here, but really shouldn't bother you too much in just accessing the storage. And of course the toilet is down below. Uh, like I said, Something to work around, but the space in here is really quite nice, so I don't think that'll be a problem for most people. The corner shower, one thing I like to show is that the curtain is actually on a rail, so it can't actually pop out completely from inside and get water on the floor. That makes it really nice. Corner shower, of course, two little levels for soap, anything else you want have in there with you and two different lights right up here so it's really bright in this bathroom I like that a nice space for a trailer that's only 20 foot long let's take a look at the kitchen the kitchen space is very comfortable because of course you've got the open area in the middle but there is also counter space back here in the very back so behind the sink and the stove You've got counter space for coffee makers. I like to use baskets to put, you know, chips, extra loose items in. The cabinet above is a nice pantry space right up here. I love the tall hook on the faucet. And you do have kind of a plastic sink cover here that can act as a cutting board or anything else that you need. Lift it right up. You've got a round sink. It's about six inches deep, stainless steel. Now, while it's not the largest sink that I've seen in an RV, it is, the depth of it makes it, I think, very useful for washing dishes. You're just not gonna be able to store a lot in there. All right, this fits right on top really easily. One handle here, that makes it really nice. Uh, the glass top on the stove makes this a perfect countertop as well if you're not using the stove. So just lift that right up. You do have two burners and nice suburban style glass top. 
I really like the countertop too. They have put a matte finish on this. It is a, a composite countertop, but it's made to look like marble or stone. Easy to clean, nice to work with, really lightens up the interior. So behind the countertop, you've got a nice window that's gonna let in some light, let in some air if you need that when you're cooking, and you will have mini blinds. Now, let's see if I can show you these mini blinds. Now these are, in the kitchen only, you've got the blackout pleated shades every place else. We'll show you those as we move along. I like to point out plugs. You've got a regular house plug right up here in the top corner. So if you do have your appliances in the back, very easy to plug them in. Storage underneath. This is only about six inches deep, but it's very tall. On the right, two more drawers. Again, nice standard size drawers for the kitchen items. Pet bowl right here. You know, of course, all the R pods are pet friendly. Um, the other two things that come along with their little pet friendly package is the hook on the outside and the outside hot and cold shower. We'll show you those on the outside. All of the controls are right here on the left. It does have a, a panel here telling you that you are wired for solar. Now that's solar on the roof. You can actually get from the factory a 110 watt solar panel on the roof with a thousand watt inverter. What that will do is that will actually allow you to run uh, certain appliances or things like that through your 110 plugs if you're not plugged in. It's going to take the 12 volt power and convert it to the AC power, your current that you find in your house. Now it's not going to run everything and it's not going to run the air conditioner or the microwave, but it will run other things. So be sure to ask about that if you're shopping for an R-Pod. Controls right here for the dom Dometic air conditioner. And then of course the monitor panel that's gonna show you the, the gray, black, and the fresh water levels along with your battery levels. This trailer has a 30 gallon fresh, 30 gallon gray, and 30 gallon black. So plenty of tank space on this. Water pump and the water heater switch right here and two USB plugs as well case you needed to charge phones or anything else, certainly do it right here on the side of the counter. Now our pod includes the microwave convection oven. Now if you're not familiar with convection ovens, don't worry about it. There's a book that comes with it that tells you how to use the convection portion of it. Now convection ovens, you can grill a steak, you could make a frozen pizza, you could even make a cake. So you can do almost anything in here you could do in a regular oven and you've got the microwave in the same spot. Down below, the 3.9 three-way refrigerator. Plenty of space in here. It's got three movable shelves. You can also remove the freezer at the top if you want more refrigerator space. So the freezer is optional. It just lifts right out and then you get more, more refrigerator space. Underneath this refrigerator is the road vac. It is an onboard vacuum system that makes it so easy to keep your trailer clean. We're gonna show you in a little different trailer how it works. This is a road vac, so it's a vacuum system. Now you can buy attachments and use this piece right here to put a hose in, or you can simply sweep your trailer Kick this up with your foot, and it sucks it all up into your vacuum. So once again, that was kind of noisy. All you do is sweep it over to this area, and then use your foot to just lift that piece right there, sweep into it. It's gonna suck up everything you just swept out of your camper, put it right back down with your foot, your trailer's clean. I love this. You'll see it a lot at hairdressers because they just sweep everything into this little flat spot on the floor. Again, you can buy accessories if you wanted to use a hose with it. However, we have found with RVs, most people just use a broom, sweep it into the vac. Okay, so before we go any further, let me show you how this vac works. All right, it's kind of new in the R-Pod, so 
Uh, this one is going to obviously, like we said, take the floor sweep and up here is where the bag is. So if you pull this back, there's a little finger pull, unlatch one side, the other one comes straight out. So there is a filter here that just slides in the side. That's kind of the micro filter here and it just stays in place. If you're ready to change this bag, just take it off, throw it away and put on the new one. Well, the way you put on the new one is to attach it at the back because that's how the dirt comes in from the floor and into the bag. So at the back, there's a hose and you just slide the back piece on. Then when you're ready to put this back in place, just clip it in on one side and then pull that onto the front hose and then it slides right back into place right there. See how simple that was? It's very easy to use. This will save you so much time. Your camper will stay so clean. I am really excited about this addition. Now across the front of the trailer is the queen size bed. It's a few inches shorter than a standard queen at 74 inches tall, but it's 60 inches wide. So you've got the same width as a queen bed. Windows on both sides for great crossbies. Big window on the front, so it feels really open up here. And the shelf on the top, a little more storage. Can't hurt, right? I like the TV over here because it does swivel to face either direction, whichever way you need it. And it does latch up against the wall for travel. The Furion right up here has got the Bluetooth, the AM, FM, CD, everything that you would need right here and the speakers outside and two speakers inside. Now let's look underneath the bed before we get too far away from here. There is a nice open space under the bed that you could use for storage. The problem is if you're running your furnace, you want to be sure you don't block that. Otherwise, if it's uh, summertime, you're not going to be using that furnace. You could use uh, Rubbermaid tubs or anything else that you have to just uh, use that space for storage. On the right side right here, 110 plugs and your LP carbon monoxide detector. Great space in here. I just cannot tell you enough times how open it feels in here for a 20 foot trailer. Now the dinette on this unit is a two person dinette. It really isn't one of the large four seaters that you're used to seeing. And that's one of the ways that they make such a nice bathroom and open space in this trailer. There is storage under here on this side. Now, of course, on the other side, we have the converter and it's going to give you the breakers and the fuses. And of course it is the gear that actually converts the 110 power coming in the AC into battery power. So, the converter is on that side, so no storage over there, but one of these does have a storage compartment. This does make into a bed and it's 24 inches wide and 75 inches long. So it works great for a single adult, but it is a narrow bed. Maybe use it in emergencies. I like the fact that on the table, it does have two poles, so it's extremely sturdy. Great table for working on. Here's the pleated shades we talked about. All the windows are gonna have a blackout pleated shade on them and just lifts right up to get out of the way. A nice window right here behind the dinette with nice uh, screened in ventilation. And you've got three open storage compartments up here. Now these are not separated. So you've got one long storage space a lot would fit right up here in this space. Now, if you wanted to work at this table, it's good to note that there is a 110 power source right here on the front of this seat so that you could actually plug in a computer or anything else, maybe an appliance, a coffee maker, and leave it on the table. Now that we've made a background to the entrance, let me show you the buttons that are on the side of this upper cabinet. At the end of this upper cabinet, is a bank of switches and it's going to have your awning on here because it is a power awning. Just push the button. It goes out and the slide room button. The rest are going to be lighting. So you have an LED light 
on your awning. We'll show you that on the outside, the porch light and a courtesy interior light. Very easy to work with. I love this trailer just because of the space in it. If you're looking for something small, lightweight, very open, this might be a great trailer for you. Fantastic fan on the roof, air conditioner in the center. Let's go out and take a look at the outside. I have always liked the aluminum steps on the R-Pods. They're lightweight, they don't rust, very easy for me to put in and out. And all the R-Pods are gonna have 15 inch tires, nitro filled with aluminum wheels. Now, if you're still worried about nitro filled tires, don't worry about that. You can always add air to them whenever you want. I like the clearance on these. You've got a nice height to it. 110 plug right here. And this trailer has the optional outside kitchen. The left side is gonna be a, just a tub basically that's removable so you can clean it. But it is meant to be a sink, washing dishes, anything like that. And of course, the spray port is right next to it, right here. Again, useful for washing dishes, anything like that that you might wanna do in this area. The two burner stove allows you to cook outside so easily. And when you're done, just fold it down, slide it right back in the compartment and close the door. Now, if you wanted to bring your own grill, there is a gas port right here that you could use for your own outside grill at the front of the trailer. But it's nice to have the two burner stove available. Okay, let's take a look at the front of the trailer while we're here. Uh, this one has the optional electric jack on the front. Uh, very basic operation with the plug at the top. So you can manually raise and lower it when you need to. Single propane with the hard cover that goes on it. It is the five gallon, 20 pound tank. So it's exchangeable anywhere. The batteries mount right behind it. I do like to point out also that our pod has added the plug holder right here on the side. Makes it really easy just to put your plug there when you're not using it. It doesn't lay in the dirt, doesn't get dirty, you know, get wet. That's just a nice, handy feature. Now this is a great place to talk about the structure on this trailer. It does have the one piece fiberglass roof. So the roof starts right here and it's one solid piece of fiberglass all the way to the back bumper. What a great feature, no seams, nothing you have to caulk. That's awesome. It also has an Asdell exterior and Asdell, as you probably know, is the composite that's impervious to water. So it gives you great insulation and great longevity. All right, let's take a look down here. The water heater vent is right here. You do have the six gallon propane water heater. The water fill and the city water connection. So this is where you would fill that 30 gallon freshwater tank and hook up the hose to the hydrant if you wanted to just go direct and not work off your fresh water tank. Furnace outlet. And underneath, you'll know, notice that they have the fresh water drains right here with easy to grab handles, not the small little plastic turnstiles um, for the low point drains. And the fresh water drain is right underneath there as well. So you can drain your fresh water tank from right here. Won't have to run that water until it's out. I like the fact that the drain is on the bottom so you know everything has drained out of that tank. Great for winterizing. Now just in front here, you can see the PVC pipe, which is where you will put your sewer hose when you're not using it. You can access it from both sides. Has a nice cap on it, with just a twist lock on it. Very easy to use. And venting here for the back of the 3.9 cubic foot refrigerator and an outside shower. Hot and cold water right here. Always good for so many uses at a campsite. Now right behind the slide is the uh, sewer outlet and the wastewater outlet. 
the gray tank and the black tank right here where you'd hook up your sewer hose. Black tank flush is right next to it. So when you're at a dump station, everything is in one place right here. Cable satellite right here. 30 amp plug in, of course, with your cord. And you do have stabilizer jacks on all four corners of an R-Pod. LED tail lights. Now they actually have a nice little hitch here with the spare tire. So if you wanted to throw the spare tire in the back of your truck maybe, or in a different place and carry a bike rack back here, we've seen people do that. You can also carry a cargo tray back here. Uh, it does come with the spare tire carrier. So, and this spare tire does fit in that front compartment if you didn't have the optional outdoor kitchen. All right. Now on this side, there is extra compartment for storage right here, which is what that front one would be. If you didn't get that outside kitchen, that becomes a storage compartment as well. I love the way they have the magnetic locks on it. So all you do is lift it up, it catches itself, put it down, and lock it back. So let's look up and talk about the awning. This unit has the optional 10 foot awning on it with the LED light. It is electric, very easy to use. Push the button inside on the panel and then pull the legs down and attach them in these two cleats on this side of the trailer. It makes a great outdoor space. Some of you may be familiar with the R-Dome and it is a tent room that actually goes on this side of the R-Pod. That's available as well but you have to get one or the other. You can't have both on the same unit because of the way they attach. So remember when you buy your R-Pod that if it has the R-Dome as an option, it can't have the awning. If it has the awning as an option, it can't have the R-Dome. Great feature. I think they're both wonderful to have. It just depends on what you like. Of course, you've got the swing out handle right here. And that brings us back around to the front of this R-Pod. I think I've told you a lot of things about this 180. I think you can tell it's probably one of my favorite R-Pods. But if there's something that I didn't talk about that you have a question about, please let us know. We'd love to answer your question and give us a call. We'll help you any way we can. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.